Hey everyone, this is probably the final update on the Kodak situation. I sent the camera back last week with the prepaid shipping tracking thing. Um, it arrived on Friday, yesterday, uh, Saturday, at uh, about 3 in the afternoon. I got a confirmation email from Kodak that a refund was issued. Now, um, because I used a bank card, I don't think it's going to clear until Monday. At least that's what I'm hoping. If it doesn't clear on Monday, then we're going to have a huge problem, and I'm going to have to deal with them again. Um, but hopefully it'll just run through on Monday, and I'll have my return back. Uh, it, the other um, thing I wanted to talk about is a YouTuber named... Chris C seventy four. Um, I saw one of his videos about uh, what camera should he pick. He ended up picking the ZI eight, but I didn't get to him in time. I, I you know I said um, you know good luck with it. I, I kind of came off as kind of a jerk, and I really didn't mean to, so I apologize for that. Um, but basically now I'm just trying to warn people. Uh, he said the camera was working fine, but he has since posted videos that he did find the vertical lines all over um, the 720p modes and to a degree in the WVGA. Um, so he's sending the camera back. And I feel really bad for him because he was really pumped for this camera, and so was I. I mean, and I hate to be the buzzkill, but he's in the same situation as me. Um, I didn't mention this before, but I had actually bought a lot of stuff for the ZI-8. Uh, now, some of this stuff I can use. Uh, right now, in fact, I'm using the new tripod with the flip. It's a gorilla pod um, that I bought for the ZI-8, but I'm using with the flip. So, there's still uses for it, but it's kind of annoying that I bought these for the ZI-8, and now I don't have the correct camera to use them. Some of them I can't even use, period. Uh, I have a Nikon lens cleaning pen. Uh, basically, if you've never seen one of these, you push up here, and this is a kind of very fine brush, and you can get dust out of the lens. It's kind of neat. And this side, you twist the cap and pop it off. And there is also a little brush that, um, not a brush, like a cleaning pad. It has like a cleaning solution on it, so it cleans your lenses really well. Again, I can use that. I'm probably going to use that with the Ultra. And then I bought, especially for the, the flip, I bought a 16 gig Class 6 SDHC card. Uh, I'm really glad I didn't buy a 32 gig. Now, I have a ton of SD cards as it is. They were all class 4. Um, I heard because of the HD video, the ZI-8 sort of needed a class 6. So I bought yet another one. Now, again, you can use this as sort of expandable storage for your PC or, you know, DSi or whatever. Ton tons of different uses. Problem is, I already have a ton, so this is kind of just like, okay, you know, and I can't return it. That sucks. Um, the big one, and this one was like 50 bucks, I bought the Sony DS70P microphone. Now, this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Um, the flips do not have mic support, and, I, you know, I can plug it into a PC, but kind of not what I was thinking of it. Um, yeah, you got a lapel clip, and this is an extender. The cool thing with this is if you do have a camera that can take, um, you know, internal mic support, is, you know, you can put it in the side of the camera and obviously turn it. Um, so you can get that, uh, you know, but it has sort of this right angle connector with it. Again, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be, but the one, two times I tested it with the ZI-8 before I sent the camera back, um, this is really a phenomenal mic. Uh, problem is I now have no use for it. I mean, I could do like podcasts or something, but it's stupid. Uh, I, bu I bought a case for the ZI-8, too. I can't really find it right now. But um, just kind of a nightmare. 
because, you know, again, I bought the camera, it was like $192, and between this, which was 15 again, I can use it, and this, which I can sort of use, I think this was like $35, $40, and this was 50 bucks. you know, I'm in like $300 plus the case, and, uh, I didn't get like 200 back, so, you know, I spent an extra $100, it, it really sucks, uh, again, if I haven't said it, I, I mean, I really wanted the Kodak to work, it just doesn't, so now I'm warning as many people as I can, you know, sort of spread the word, again, it's on the Amazon forums, uh, Chris C 74 has made a couple videos about it now, how it's a problem, and how he sent it back, and, and his videos actually show the lines, um, my one video does, but again, you know, I reformatted the card. I don't have any of the original footage I have from the ZI-8 that, that would show you the, the lines. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is the end of it. I'm probably going to wait until Friday so I can get paid and, you know, sort of a combination of things. And I might pick up the new Minnow HD. Or I might wait. Um, I know Chris is talking about getting a Samsung U10. Uh, I, I sort of read into that, but um, I'm kind of going to stay away from the big name companies, the non-dedicated companies, if only because, you know, Flip's putting out these cameras that are doing really well, and the reason is it's because they're dedicated to cameras. Um, <laughs> then again, I thought the same of Kodak, but obviously this is how it turned out. But, yeah, uh, plus the... Minnow you know, HD is a little more widely available. I want to try to avoid ordering online because if need be, I'll just switch it out in the store. Well, um, thanks for listening. Again, spread the word. Uh, as many people need to know about this as possible so you know you can prevent more people from buying this and going through all the hassle that I went through. But leave a comment. Uh, post a video response, you know, whatever you want to do. There's a link to uh, Chris's channel over here. Wouldn't be over here. Is it gonna flip it? I don't know. Um, you should check out his videos. He he really knows what he's talking about. Um, looks like he's a musician. Uh, has some pretty good tunes and stuff. Um, but yeah, all right. Have a good one. I'll probably post. A review. I just recently saw Moon. If you haven't seen it, that's David Bowie's son's movie. I know that's horrible. Duncan Jones. Phenomenal with Sam Rockwell. So I might post a video review of that. Um, either way, have a good one.